Okay, hi, and welcome to It Moves. Let's start the game. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While well, some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, night was something truly to fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. Ooh. This looks, this looks kind of cool. Uh, this is me. Can I move around? Ooh, I can move around. Um, there's a lamp. Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, it's a picture up there. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. Okay, looks like there's a playing card. No, I didn't mean to go in there. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. Fear, a fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate, I will relate it to you all now best I can. Make of it what you will. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Okay, there's a guy with glasses. Let's go talk to him. This is my father. Okay, that was it. Let's it go exploring. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. This is my mother. Okay. Who's that? Man with a mustache, okay. Nothing too interesting. Mom told me not to touch your stuff, especially this stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Wonder what's in that drawer. That's that's I don't know, that sounded somewhat offensive. Or not, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I feel nervous. I feel I don't know. Weird today. Flowers. Mom put these here. Oops. Wrong way. Um, this is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the bunk er, in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Yeah, I, I already looked at the flowers, shoes, not very interesting. I'm yawning right now, so that that means yeah, that means that um, the shoes were really boring. Okay, I'm not doing this. So there's gonna be a cutscene. Ooh. Alright, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep, you see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always press the enter button. I'm just like. Like I press buttons randomly. Oh. You excited? Yes, Mom. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Okay, so this is when spooky stuff happens. Ch 
Chapter 1 Cave. Oh, 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 almost knocked over the microphone. Save? Yeah, I'm guessing we should save. Okay. So we're like in nightmares that this kid has. What is that? Let's look at this figured squirrel humping a tree. Can we talk to it? Oh man. Okay, and there's butterflies chasing us. Let's get to safety. Looks like a giant bee up there. Ooh! That on <laughs> Kinda looks like a Muppet on top of the the house there. Can I talk to it? No. Oh man, I can't talk to anybody. I wanted to uh, a pot and some braided cloth. Ooh, looks like a cauldron. I wonder what's cooking. Yeah, I don't know what's cooking either. Oh my gosh! Is that a guy outside? Let's look at him. Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. <laughs> By the way, your missing sock is under your bed with me. Just kidding. <laughs> kind of like this game so far. Cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Okay, let's go down there. <laughs> kind of looks sparkly down here. Are those fireflies or something? It just looks like it's glittery and you know, it's kind of cool looking. Oh, this is the cave! Am I crazy or does that look like kind of like a weird version of the cookie monster right there? Kind of does, like with two eyes, you know. Those look like eggs, but they look like, also look like two eyes, and then it's kind of cool looking. Um, so we're just exploring this dark cave. Oh no! What was that? <laughs> it looked like the guy that was outside staring at us. Okay. Okay. Well, let's... Oh! Okay. How do we... Oh no, puzzles. Okay. There's probably another one. <laughs> Great. Oh! The... No! <laughs> okay. No. I always seem to get past these just by accident sometimes. Oof. What was that? Okay. Looks like there's nothing there, so let's just keep going through the cave. Exploring like a badass. Oh no! Not that guy again. Man, he's just, he's following us everywhere. Okay, so there's earthquakes under here. I feel like I should... Oh, everything's turning red. Oh my... What is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? <laughs> I 
just happened? Okay, I hear I hear birds chirping. That sounds peaceful. Oh, mom! I had a bad dream. Mom! Okay. We just go outside. It sounds like it's morning time. Okay, let's bug our parents. Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Oh, breakfast sounds so good. Like some bacon and, and eggs and, and toast. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I shouldn't go outside right now. Oh, I thought that was a fridge. <laughs> you need to go here right now. Or no need to go here right now. Okay. You can go back in her room. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow f still felt lonely. I didn't enter my room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. 